What's up guys, Nathan here with a Team Fortress 2 tip video for struggling scouts. If you happen to be having a little bit of troubles, maybe this video will help you. Now before I start into the topic, I'd like to mention that uh, this is a custom made Force of Nature skin that uh, a subscriber Hyper Ace made for me. Um, I'm very happy with it. It looks pretty cool. Um, you can see my name on uh, the uh, top of the Force of Nature, and when I reload, it's like front and center screen. Um, but this is like the first version of the skin he sent me. He sent me like a, a new version, which I'll probably check out, but um, I was too lazy to exit TF2 and change to the new version when he sent me it, so um, this is the first version of the skin. But anyway, uh, his YouTube link will be in the description. Gotta give all that credits and stuff, so thank you to Hyper Ace. Anyway, um, this video is about if you're struggling with Scout, and it's mostly with, like, aiming, um, and with that, I mean, like, you could maybe use this on something like Sniper, maybe, because Sniper's, like, the only other class that relies upon aiming, like, a lot, um, but it has to do with Scout weapons, so I'm not sure if it will really help that much. But, uh, or at least for Sniper. But, um, for Scout, that is, if you're having trouble with the scatter gun, you just, you know, just having trouble with your shots and getting your shots lined up, um, and you're using the scatter gun all the time, then I would suggest switching to the Force of Nature. Now, why should you do that? Well, first of all, it brings a whole new style of play, um, just makes TF2 a bit more different, um, and that's always a good, you know, it's, it's always good to have, like, just a little bit of refreshment in the game, but the main point is that the force of nature really forces you to choose your shots, and by that I mean you only have two shots in your magazine instead of six to just spam on the enemy and then have to reload all of them. Um, instead, with the force of nature, because you only have those two shots, you need to really um, make sure they count, and this might be pretty obvious, but I just kind of found that it was it it, it was good to use the force of nature um, after being frustrated with the scatter gun so many times. I mean, late like the past. I mean, not not so much this last week, but like uh, a while ago, I was having a lot of frustrations with scout, and I think I made a video or something on it. But besides some other miscellaneous stuff that I discovered about my aiming and stuff, uh, using the Force of Nature instead of the scatter gun has helped me because it, it really forces me to choose my shots. Plus, as a bonus, the Force of Nature is actually a really fun weapon. Um, I mean, it's just fun to blast enemies back and see those big numbers pop up when you get meat shots. Instead of, like, a scatter gun, like, a meat shot usually get well, in, in competitive games at least because there's there's no damage spread i think a uh, meat shot gives 100 to 105 um, in MGE, it's 100, but in, I think, just regular Highlander matches, it's like 105 or something. Um, but with the fan, that's a lot more because there's more pellets that do less damage, but there's basically more damage output overall. Now, obviously, you have less shots to spend that on, but that is quite beside the point because, I mean, obviously, the Scattergun is the best. It's, it's the best DMing scout primary, but the point of this is to help you improve and choose your shots, uh, and for that, the Force of Nature is fantastic. I would not recommend the Soda Popper because that can be kind of spammy and um, also it's, it's, I mean, the Soda Popper is pretty cheap with mini crits, so yeah, just don't do that. Don't use the Soda Popper. Anyway, that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new, and um, as always, if you could leave a rating and subscribe, that would be amazing, and I'll see you later, so peace out.